I'm going to go back to saying the same thing of respect, but I, I, I want to frame it a different way. It, it doesn't mean necessarily in all the serious ways or all the ways we take it. Yeah. It could be in the little moments. And I remember just one example of one of my first weeks. I think it was my first week, my first Friday, I believe, on campus. And we finished a lower body workout that has a name for it that I can't repeat. And it's really, it was, really hard. It was leg day. It was really was hard. <laughs> and... um and so some guys are, are puking, mm -hmm. guys are exhausted, you know, guys are helping each other up off the ground, like just like exhausted. Mm -hmm. And so all the, the staff saying, all right, now you got to go get in the cold tub and you got to get in the cold tub up to your hips for seven minutes. And so, you know, I'm new there and I'm trying to, you know, figure my place. But also I have this little bit of goal of, you know, I want to show that I'm a yeah. little different and earn people's respect. I, and I got some, I got some edge in me. Yeah, yeah, I have a little edge, right? Uh -huh. And um, so all these guys and guys that I've looked up to, right? Yeah. These juniors and seniors, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm playing with you. Like you're on the same team, and they're all arguing with all the strength staff. They're like, no, okay, what about this? What if I get in three <laughs> minutes? Uh, and they're negotiating like it's ever gonna work, you know? And so the whole time they're all arguing. I just walk into the cold tub and I get in up to my neck and it's miserable. It's awful. Yeah. Right. But you just do it. And I try to have a, a straight face and I'm just in there sitting there in the, the, the deep side of the cold tub and everyone turns around and they look at me. What are you doing? They're like, yeah, like what the heck's wrong with you? <laughs> you know, the freshman's up to his neck right That's now. Right. But it's just as something as silly as that, that, it starts to put in people's mind, you're willing to do something I don't know if I was willing to do, mm -hmm. right? And willingness is such a cool concept. Mm -hmm. And when they see that, it sounds stupid, right? It sounds silly, you're just in the cold tub. That's not a big deal. It is when you do little things like that all the time where they say, oh my goodness, you're willing to do that. Mm. And then in a workout, you're willing to not stop. And then when you get hurt, you're willing to play hurt. And what happens is they start is, is teammates. And this is true in anything. They watch this and they pick up on it. Yeah. And what happens is they, then they can trust when it gets really hard. We've seen you have an edge. Mm. We know in the fourth quarter, you're not going to flinch when other people do. Cause I, you didn't flinch in the cold tub. You didn't flinch in the leg press. You didn't flinch on the wall squats. You didn't flinch when we're running 40 forties and yeah. 105 degree heat. Right. And, and, and they get to trust that. So in those moments when it gets really hard, it's not necessarily all about talent. It's about the willingness to embrace the grind, embrace the suck, embrace the, embrace the hard times where it's like, no, this is actually why we do the hard things. So when it gets hard, that's our biggest advantage. <laughs>